Uh, have I got speakerphone on? Amber, are you there? Can I just check, Amber? Have I got you? Have I got anybody? All right, let's go. Um, so, hey guys, I'm outside the Civic Hall. Uh, so, welcome to the council. Welcome to your council and I'm just going to walk over to the bridge because there's a live that I actually want to do. I just had to come out and stamp my ground for a bit and dance so I've literally just taken, you should have seen how fucking wicked people have just come over and said that was the best thing I've ever fucking seen. So if I had, if I could have camera it would be ace but basically where that guy stood there I've just literally gone, gone all the way up the stairs, all the way up to the front door, kicked the fucking shit out of their front door dancing so I'm dancing so it's not physical violence. Um, done the whole cage, cage keys, so if you see, ever see me pissing about and I've got my hands behind my back, it's because I'm doing people being put in, uh, basically arrested, things like that, sectioned and detained, it's a detainment dance basically. So anyway, I have this that's come through today, and uh, I've been out longer than I told Dean I was going to be, so we do need to, I actually just kicked the arse out of it, I just put the headphones on because the problem was, is when I got this, my mind just fragmented completely and I couldn't necessarily sit down and talk to Dean about it. Um, he just wouldn't understand and he would just be like, you always just go, you do it and you come out. And I'm just going over the bridge and I'm just going to go to the Crown Court and I'm going to do the live here from outside the Crown Court and tell you why I have been summoned to the Crown Court and how I feel about this and some things that I'm thinking about. Now, funny enough, I've just met one of the watchers. For those who don't understand what the watchers are, they are the watchers watching the watchers. So basically the people who are watching people like me, we have the watchers that are watching our backs that turn up, let us know how things are going. They're basically the Lord's angels and they're watching the watchers. So when I go into battle, and you probably all think I'm mad now, but when I go into battle, being it is against powers and principalities and not flesh and blood, it's not about people, it's about powers and principalities, it's about a very dark force that exists in the world that has governed the nation and world for a very, very long time that has been brought to the light because of many light walkers. And uh, so I just danced it out and it was my way of doing it all under the cameras and letting Babylon State know that they've lost and it's over and it's done. However, the date's set for this, my watch has just come round. Any boom box. So So here I am down at the Crown House. My watcher is watching my back. Do you hear the boom box? Those people have my back whether you think it or not. So I'm at the Crown House and I'm going to tell you what this is. So basically I have been summoned, you've probably already seen on my live because I've already posted a couple of things out, but I have a little bit of cause for concern and feeling that this might not be as honest, but I am a conspiracy theorist, but I do believe that people are conspiring or the Lord is putting me through my greatest healing. So I have been summoned for jury service. You have been selected for jury service. This summons requires you to attend the court stated on a date and time given. Now, call me paranoid. Call me lateral thinking, call me maze running, call me big picture watching, or just maybe if things haven't lapsed, then how can they have a jury of is it 10 or 11 people all sitting side by side on at 9.30 a.m. on Monday the 29th of June 2020 and jury service usually lasts up to 10 days and can be longer and this summons was issued on the 6th of May 2020 by the jury central summonsing bureau bureau authorized of the Lord Chancellor 
Now I must reply to this within seven days, okay? <coughs> Warning. <coughs> Warning, EDS throat's playing up. I've just been dancing for I don't know how long. Or... If you do not reply to this summons or you do not go to court to do your jury service without reasonable cause, you may be you will you may be committing a criminal offence and you could be fined up to one thousand pounds. So basically I've got to answer these questions. Now don't forget this will all be private, I won't be able to talk about it, or maybe you'll just never see me again. Because if I don't tell you this has happened, how would anybody know? So please know that I have been summoned to the courts on Monday the 29th of June, and if I don't turn up or respond to all of this, then I could be detained, sectioned and arrested. So basically, I have to answer these questions. I've already let the social worker know. I spoke to the social worker this morning. She's been around today. She had gloves on today, no masks. So basically, I'm going to have to reply. It's got my name, everything on it. What's, um, it is a criminal offence if you refuse to give the information. Determine whether you are qualified to be a juror or you or someone on your behalf gives false information to evade service and you could be fined. Now, someone like me would get away with it immediately because I've had my kids taken. I don't have a criminal offence. So basically, it's... Have I lived in here since my 13th birthday? Yes. Um, have you been detained or sectioned under the mental health? Now I would have to actually say yes, but I would then have to state that this was an unlawful and unnecessary and include the information. Do you lack capacity stated in the mental health? Now I've actually messaged Hannah and said, where do you lie on this? Because um, I would say, yes, I have trauma. And actually to put me in this situation would be naked, raw no video cameras, no surveillance cameras, suited and booted, back in this building with security, police, judges, Freemasons, satanic people who take people away. Are you on bail for a criminal offence? No. Have you been found guilty of a criminal offence or been given a prison sentence, community order or a suspended prison sentence? No. Um, can you do these on those dates? Have you worked for the criminal justice system? No. Will you help? Will you need any help in court? So do I have a disability or impairment? Now they're not allowed to discriminate, so I have to put all of my disability in and it will either let me do it or not. Then it's a declaration and then it's just what is jury service, how does it work? And then it's the allowances of how much they will pay me a day. So I want to do this because basically I get paid for the first two days below four hours, 32 pounds and 47 pence, over 64 pounds and 65 pence. If it goes over, then it goes up to over four hours, 129. And if it goes over so many, it goes up to 228 pounds per day. And then of course I get travel, but I live across the road. Um, so I actually could really do with doing this because it would give me a nice bit of lump of money that I need to get me out of here. And I would love to think that this was just genuine, that there obviously are still criminal offences going on, but I will be brought in, I will be told to put gloves on and I will go through all of these things and I will be thanked and stuff. I'm scared that obviously somebody's life is going to be in my hands and I'm responsible for them in an official way. I am responsible for people's lives when I jump on when someone's suicidal. Sometimes we've lost people, sometimes we haven't. I didn't respond to Ryan when he called me and obviously Ryan took his life. Um, I feel responsible for many people who take their lives. Um, also people who are depressed and not out pissing it about and dancing. Um, so I'm going to head over my way. But I just want to come and do this sort of out here visually. Um, and also uh, get back, this one here is the family courts. Um, but what you've got to remember, as there's a gentleman here, so I don't sort of want to show him, but from there to under there and all the way around, there are prison cell tunnels, right? My paranoid head is telling me this is a setup and this gets my children away from me. And even if Dean's got them, that Dean can run with my children. 
my unparanoid head is saying, Kelly, you're not ready for this. You're going to react. You're going to be held in contempt of court. Um, it's going to trigger you. You're going to have traumas that nobody is going to understand, especially 20 all the time through courts, everything that's gone on. I haven't actually been in a court on that side like that. And also it was a jury that put my, my uncle in prison for nine years for a murder that he didn't commit. But it's also going to be an experience, and this experience that I would really love to have, to see things on that side of the spectrum from the inside. But also, once I go in, I'm not going to be able to lie, I'm not going to be able to talk about it, it's going to be confidential unless it is an open criminal court. But I will then be on the jury. But the fact is, they probably have to see whether or not on the jury. So I've already been selected for the jury. So they've already checked everything because they can't go that far. It's not just on a random lottery because obviously there are things. So they do have to go to a certain level. And then of course, my paranoid head is saying, they've gone, well, we're never gonna get that woman away from her kids. We're never gonna get her any other way. This is the only way we can get her. And then there are people here who would actually agree with me on this. And then that would cement that fear. And then that fear goes from being a fear to a potential trauma, because then I'm in a situation that I'm under Sabina to go and summon. So I've got the police from this side already. But then if I don't go into the lion's den, I got the police behind me or the police in there anyway and security. So either way, I'm fucked. <laughs> um, but then it says to me, well, is everything going to be over by this time? Or actually, is this me being summoned to my own jury? <laughs> they can do what they like, really, can't they? Or is this the Lord's way of going, Kelly, this is the best fucking healing that I can give you right now. And everything that you've gone through is to prepare you for this. And actually... I'm going to be putting you in front of a paedophile who's been getting away for it for years and years and years and years and years. And there is nobody that I can put on that jewellery that can actually really look at this from another perspective and bring a whole different perspective into this. But then that's paranoid that you think you're a chosen one for a particular situation. So as soon as I got this letter, my head split. The date's been set. There's a date in my calendar that is one that I can't, forget I can't walk away from I can't do anything about it and also I've got a child protection conference set for the same day of the month in May <laughs> and or 28 29 I haven't double checked and it's like okay so now now I do get shoes now I do get suits now I do get to put makeup on now I have got a reason to dress up and get ready for paperwork and also what a great chapter for the book if it's an interesting case that I can talk about after but what if I walk in and the next thing I know I'm being jabbed in the fucking ass, put to sleep knocked out and I my dad this is this is another paranoid layer that's just come in now that I hadn't even thought about before my dad raised me on big trouble in little China and this is really funny now when I say this because I hadn't even ever thought about this. And in that film, they have to find the woman with green eyes and sacrifice her. <laughs> but I'm not a virgin. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, so that one's out. They have to sacrifice virgins and that's not me. So I don't know how that would quite work. But I, ha I'm, I am a powerful entity. So that would make them bleed in for a while. I don't know. Is it worth sacrificing someone like me? I don't know. So anyway, could I then, based on what I've just been said, be declared mental health and actually decided that actually I can't go on jury service because I'm mad as a wax of fucking fogs and mad as a fish and mad as a dog and mad as a cat and completely deranged and got mental health issues and can't do it. So that would be nice too, but then I miss out on the money. So, um, you know, it'd be nice to sit in there for as long as possible and get paid, wouldn't it? So that would be good. Um, so yeah.